What is going on, guys? My name is Brendan. And it's your favorite oh, neighbor, oh, Topher. Get on that game. Oh, my God. I have to get uh, sorry guys, I gotta, um, I gotta go wash the dishes. Uh, be back. And we are the Septic Bros. Now, today's video, <laughs> we're gonna be talking all about parents and how they view video games compared mm -hmm. to sports. So the way we're gonna structure this video is we're going to directly understand why they, you know, really support you in your sports endeavors and what exactly they want to get out of it and what they don't see as a positive with video games. Now, Topher, you want to go ahead and jump into that question. Yeah, so right off the bat, we're going to go into what most people assume the parents don't want you playing video games compared to sports. Is it the health and the active part of it, you know? You're going outside, you're playing for more than two hours a day, you're staying fit and you're staying active, you're interacting with other people in a competitive scene. You know, it, it's the same old, same old, and it gets it's tiring to hear that same excuse over and over again. Now, the other aspect of what we think parents really do enjoy supporting their kids playing sports is the fact that there's something in their head that they could go pro and they dream of them being professional you know mm -hmm. not only to you know make a good amount of money but to get that recognition and really just succeed at something you know yeah. end of the day good parents want to support their kids so they, they can succeed now we looking at gaming it, it you know, it's not clear that that can't happen with gaming as well. It's just society nowadays, it's making a shift, but it's a slower shift because, you know, the traditional route is more of a sport, being active and whatnot. So we're going to share now exactly what has been in our own lives with our personal experiences. So, Tupper, do you want to share what, yeah. what it was like for you growing up? For me growing up, um, I think it was more of like a a way for me to keep busy because most of my, my parents had me playing the piano since I was very little um and then i played sports too Mozart. And then, yeah dude so i played i played a lot of stuff i did um summer basketball summer track um while still playing the piano and i played a lot of games like during the halo 2 or halo 3 and modern warfare 2 but my parents were not that big of fans of it they made me take breaks like every <laughs> two hours maybe hour um i take like a 45 minute break or something like that so my sessions were very cut short and not until I got older was I able to put in like multiple hours, like six hour days into gaming and stuff like that. What about you? Oh, JJ. Yeah. My, my video game career has been very different. Um, it was a kind of a factor of, I always played video games, but it was very sports heavy. So I was really supported to go out, you know, shoot basketball hoops. I could go do it 24 seven and mm -hmm. that would be support. But it wasn't that my parents weren't exactly you know, happy with me gaming, they just didn't really think that it was productive and anything could come of it. So all of the emphasis was to go, you know, be healthy, go play sports, go follow your dreams with it. But the, you know, the idea of following your dreams in terms of video games, you know, you have to, you have to give them some credit though, because the route that is now so visible for us with, you know, you can be successful being a content creator, you can be yeah. in esports, wasn't exactly so clear back then because you know, esports just now are really blowing up in the last five years or so, and being a content creator wasn't exactly the most glorious career, you know, yeah. a decade ago. So, yes, they had a different type of relationship with how they supported you, but, you know, I'm just saying that there's a huge trend that is, you know, shifting, and I think parents are really going to, you know, change their minds in terms of how gaming has been. So, yeah. What are your next thoughts, Toby? I'm definitely seeing that they're going to open up more because the reason why they weren't so open to it or in favor of it is because there wasn't that many successful people back then in the day, like 10, 15 years ago, as far as gamers. Like no professional. squishy. <laughs> yeah, so now we have a lot more people in our view that we see on a daily basis of not just pro gamers, but content creators and successful people with it you know the 16 year old that just won three million dollars like that's something that we can see and the parents are like forced to see now right and i think like it really boils down to it either your parents want you to be very active and healthy uh which i think most parents do want that or mm -hmm. they want you to play sports because they think you can you know really succeed athletically mm -hmm. and i think that you know going forward people are going to be able to see that you can get recognition, you can make a lot of money, and you have to have that balance that you also have to go out and be active. You can't just sit in your door, 
in your house all day and just play video games, if you can find that right balance, you can still remain healthy. Mm -hmm. And I guess the moral of this entire you know conversation is not to condemn people from supporting you know following your dreams athletically, but to just be open to a change and a shift in society and be open to your child if they're not great at sports or they have a big passion for video games to be open to that. And I think that that's very powerful and it's, you know, the way in, you know, our kids are going to be raised is there's going to be two different avenues that you can find that success, you know, to get out of and become some sort of celebrity or, you know, besides singing and, and <laughs> a famous talents. YouTuber. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. So I get, yeah, I mean, in reality, things always change and I never, yeah. you know, Topher and I will not, will not be able to predict what the next fad will be. But right now, gaming is at the forefront, Chris. Rocket League? What are your, you know, what are your thoughts about the frontier changing? Um, for the frontier changing, man, we'll definitely see a lot more professional and competitive and content creation setting, you know? There's already a big shift in, like, people trying to go to YouTube and like, Mixer and Twitch and streaming like that. So, as, as far as that goes, that is the best thing for gaming. You know, if we see more gamers playing a game and all the game creators are paying these people to get it, the competitive scene grows and the market and the money that is put into the game and the competitive scene grows exponentially and that's the best thing for us gamers, you know? What do you think? Right. And I mean, to take this, you know, as a great assault, we are, or we were college basketball players and for yeah. us to tell you that, you know, support your children or, you know, when you become parents, support your children, whatever, you know, they, they want to do. And at the moment, it's becoming a huge thing to go play Fortnite, go play Rocket League. You know, as, as this becomes a bigger deal, more people will flood to to playing Rocket League specifically because that's the game that we we cover. That's our audience is Rocket League, and yeah. you know, supporting all esports, supporting all different games is very important. And I think that the Rocket League community will be continuing to benefit from the advancement of video games. Yeah. So that's pretty much all we wanted to talk about today's video. Please drop a comment down below letting us know what you guys think will be, you know, a future trend, how you think parents should handle the situation. Um, and if you don't have anything to say, Topher, what should they do? Well, they should slap the slab button, join our Discord, turn on the notification bell, because we are trying to post two to three videos a week for you guys. Yeah, we love you guys all. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs>